Captain Scott Everett, along with more than 100 guardsmen in his company, made their way to Louisiana following Hurricane Ida. The guardsmen say it was a quick response after receiving the call. But we were all uh, very motivated to go do it. We knew they needed help down there. Um, and so we were we got a lot of volunteers right off the bat to go. Debris everywhere, power lines were down, so stores were uh, destroyed. Uh, it was just something that would just bad from the storm. Sergeant Griffin has assisted with storm recovery before, but says Hurricane Ida stood in a league of its own. This time we were down there for three weeks, so just to be down there with the community and see the, them trying to rebuild, it was just a unique experience for us. The guardsmen had a variety of roles over the three-week trip, from patrolling areas to handling paperwork. But regardless of the role, they say Louisiana's appreciation for the help went a long way. Thanked us. You know, every time we'd go somewhere, people were honking at us and waving. Kids would come up and talk to us. Uh, they fed us uh, pretty well. The state awarding the Mississippi National Guard plaques draped with Mardi Gras beads to show their gratitude. So they call us, the, you know, the hospitality state, but when we were down there, they were the most hospitable people that we've ever encountered. Um, so they were just willing to give us food, drinks, even though we were on the job sites. And while those impacted by the storm continue to recover day by day, Captain Everett and Sergeant Griffin say they will be ready if they have to answer the call again. I could see from when we were there that some of the places that were hit hard, they'll, they'll need support for quite a while to, to get life back to normal. And Brandon Kara Peters, 16 WAPT News.